Welcome to College Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Tompkins runs for 118 yards, Hastings throws for two TDs, UC Davis beats Weber State 17-16. Harris throws two TD passes to Cephas, Barnes runs for two TDs as UTSA beats UAB 41-20. The overlooked genius behind the black is beautiful campaign. Elon Musk's act still needs the legacy media he so resents. Chambers and Malat lead Montana State to 24th straight home win, smacking Cal Poly 59-19. Tompkins runs for 118 yards, Hastings throws for two TDs, UC Davis beats Weber State 17-16. Associated Press. UC Davis defeated Weber State 17-16 in a college football game on Saturday night. Trent Tompkins rushed for 116 yards on 24 carries, while Miles Hastings threw two touchdown passes for UC Davis. The team's defense held off Weber State's late comeback attempts, securing the victory. Harris throws two TD passes to Cephas, Barnes runs for two TDs as UTSA beats UAB 41-20. Associated Press. UTSA defeated UAB 41-20 in a college football game on Saturday night. Frank Harris threw two touchdown passes to Joshua Cephas, while Kavorian Barnes ran for two touchdowns. UTSA led the game from the beginning, with Robert Henry scoring a touchdown on the opening drive. UAB tried to make a comeback, but UTSA sealed the victory with two short touchdown runs by Barnes. The overlooked genius behind the black is beautiful campaign. Financial Times. Emmett McBain, a graphic designer and advertising pioneer, is celebrated for his work in creating authentic and respectful campaigns targeting black consumers. McBain's groundbreaking advertisements challenged the stereotypes typically associated with black people in advertising and portrayed them as normal and beautiful. One of his most notable works is the Black Marlboro Man campaign, which featured a black man in everyday situations rather than relying on the traditional cowboy trope. McBain also designed the iconic Black is Beautiful campaign in 1968, which addressed insidious racism and promoted black pride. McBain's success came at a time when major manufacturers were starting to recognize the value of the black market. African Americans were found to be spending nearly $30 billion a year, leading to a shift in advertising strategies to tap into this market. Today, the cultural value of blackness is immeasurable, and black spending power in the U.S. alone is estimated at $835 billion. However, advertising that targets black consumers still struggles to strike the right note and often faces criticism for cultural appropriation or insensitivity. McBain's work serves as a reminder of the importance of authenticity and respect in advertising campaigns aimed at black audiences. Elon Musk's ex still needs the legacy media he so resents. Financial Times. Elon Musk's new social media platform, X, is amplifying the voices of paid users and allowing them to limit replies to only other verified users. While some may see this as a way to take down the old guard of journalists and public figures on Twitter, it is resulting in rampant misinformation and disinformation. Musk's goal was to make X the most accurate source of information, but by giving more visibility and influence to those who pay $8 for a blue tick, he is silencing those who don't. Musk's view that world-class subject matter experts can provide news without the need for journalists is misguided. Chambers and Malat lead Montana State to 24th straight home win, smacking Cal Poly 59-19. Associated Press. Montana State dominated Cal Poly in a 59-19 victory on Saturday night. Tommy Malat and Sean Chambers combined for 365 yards of offense and five touchdowns for Montana State. The win extends Montana State's home winning streak to 24 games, the longest active streak in Division I. Montana State will face fifth ranked Sacramento State next Saturday. Sam Huard threw three touchdown passes for Cal Poly in the loss. DJ Wiungal LA, Ryan Cooper Jr. Power No. 15 Oregon State to a 36 24 win over No. 18 UCLA. The Toronto Star. No. 15 Oregon State defeated No. 18 UCLA 36-24 in a Pac-12 matchup on Saturday night. Oregon State's defense came up big with an interception returned for a touchdown and three total interceptions of UCLA freshman quarterback Dante Moore. Despite UCLA's strong defense, Oregon State was able to put up 36 points and hold off a fourth-quarter rally from the Bruins. Penn State tight end Theo Johnson finally reaches the end zone. Yahoo! It had been almost 11 months since Theo Johnson reached the end zone for Penn State. That scoreless streak ended Saturday when the Nittany Lions tight end caught two touchdown passes in a 63-0 romp past Massachusetts at Beaver Stadium. Penn State's Daquan Hardy returns two punts for TDs in romp past UMass, updated. Yahoo!
Daquan Hardy has set a new record for Penn State by returning two punts for touchdowns in a single game. The defensive back had never returned a punt in college football, although he has done so and returned kickoffs for touchdowns at Penn Hills High School in Pittsburgh. Head coach James Franklin said, guys who can make big plays, be explosive and protect the football are valuable. Australia's referendum failure could lead to more divisive politics, analysts say. Yahoo! Australia's decision to reject the constitutional recognition of its indigenous population could lead to more divisive politics, similar to Donald Trump's, at the next national election, some analysts have warned. The referendum result, which saw a majority of Australians vote against altering the constitution to create an indigenous advisory body, has also led to calls for Prime Minister Anthony Albanese to focus on cost-of-living issues. The conservative opposition Liberal Party opposed the referendum and is now expected to seek policies to take to the next election in 2025. Dear viewers, I am Dr. Six, your favorite observer from the Six Degrees world, bringing you the latest news highlights from around the globe. Today, we witnessed some thrilling college football games, learned about the overlooked genius behind a famous advertising campaign, discussed the implications of Elon Musk's new social media platform, and celebrated record-breaking achievements in sports. But that's not all, we also talked about the potential consequences of Australia's recent referendum failure. So, let's dive into the analysis. Starting with college football, UC Davis secured a narrow victory over Weber State, thanks to Trent Tompkins' impressive rushing performance and Miles Hastings' two touchdown passes. Meanwhile, UTSA dominated UAB with Frank Harris throwing two TD passes and Kavorian Barnes running for two touchdowns. It was an exciting night for football fans. In the world of advertising, we celebrated the groundbreaking work of Emmett McBain, a graphic designer and advertising pioneer who challenged stereotypes and promoted black pride in his campaigns. His iconic Black is Beautiful campaign in 1968 still serves as a reminder of the importance of authenticity and respect in advertising aimed at black audiences. Moving on to Elon Musk's new social media platform, X, it seems that his attempt to revolutionize the news landscape is facing some challenges. By amplifying the voices of paid users and limiting replies to verified accounts, Musk hoped to create a more accurate source of information. However, this approach has resulted in rampant misinformation and disinformation, silencing those who don't pay for verification. It seems Musk still needs the legacy media he resents. In the sports world, Montana State extended its home winning streak to 24 games with a dominant victory over Cal Poly, while No. 15 Oregon State defeated No. 18 UCLA in a Pac-12 matchup. We also celebrated Theo Johnson's return to the end zone for Penn State after almost 11 months, and Daquan Hardy's record-breaking performance of returning two punts for touchdowns in a single game. Lastly, we discussed the potential consequences of Australia's referendum failure to recognize its indigenous population. Some analysts have warned that this could lead to more divisive politics, similar to what we've seen with Donald Trump. It's an important reminder of the need for inclusivity and reconciliation. Now, it's your turn, dear viewers. What are your thoughts on these news stories? Are you excited about the college football games? Do you appreciate the importance of authentic advertising campaigns? And what do you think about Elon Musk's new social media platform? Let's discuss and keep the conversation going. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the fascinating world of news. Dr. Six. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the Six Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.